So Heath, we're in your room in the exhibition Mind System Find the Gap. Um, what are you showing here? Um, I'm showing one identity mm -hmm. with um, a suggestion that there could be multiples. Okay. So these are the boxes. Yeah, yeah. this is the one identity, um, including documentation, how mm -hmm. it's made, mm -hmm. um, the, kind of the manual, mm -hmm. the ar artifacts that come come with it mm -hmm. from other parties. Mm -hmm. um, these are some the maps of the three main elements that make identity, nationality, name and date of birth. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's some empty boxes with names on them. Which are supposed to be able to carry the identities. When you say identity, you mean a legal identity that you create for yeah, individuals. Yeah, yeah your legal identity. Yeah. The core of it is, is legality, but then okay. there's also uh, functionality mm -hmm. and also philosophy, I'd say. Okay. So how does it how does it basically work? How can you create a legal identity as a as an individual? Uh, well, in the United Kingdom and, and other countries, it's perfectly legal to uh, or lawful, lawful, I should say, to uh, make uh, let's say a cake, mm -hmm. and in the same way, you can make yourself an identity. So you need some in ingredients. That's right. What are your ing ingredients that you need to make that? Um, as I mentioned, the core, the core ingredients are a name, mm -hmm. uh, a date of birth and nationality. Um, and then you need to add on other things like gender, mm -hmm. postal address, email mm -hmm. address, telephone number. Um, then some things such as debit cards, mm -hmm. maybe health insurance, mm -hmm. maybe some kind of um, tax numbers. Mm -hmm. Basically, just keep adding things to it. Yeah, but, uh, and the more entities where all of this information is registered, the stronger the identity that you create. Yeah, that's right. But the, uh, you are assumed to have, have uh, an identity at birth anyway, mm -hmm. even if you don't have a name. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's like your default, um, which will last for you, persist beyond your, you know, your actual real life maybe mm -hmm. for a few weeks or a few months or even a lot longer. As um, long as you're still being recognized as, a, yeah. as so an individual by different... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. When I was looking into the work, there was this division between human identity, mm. legal identity, other components. Mm. Could, you, could you speak a little bit more about that? Well, um, I've split the field of identity into three, mm -hmm. um, which generally conforms to most countries' conception mm -hmm. of uh, identity. So you have your physical body, mm -hmm. us as human beings, mm -hmm. which really we ju aren't just physical. Physical, mm -hmm. You know, we, we have all sorts of other things going on for us mm -hmm. um, and have been around for 500 million years mm -hmm. and maybe around another 50, mm -hmm. um, depends on, you know, the disasters that face us. Yeah. And then on top of that, there's a layer of um, kind of administration, which mm -hmm. we call a personhood. Mm -hmm. um, we're either through laziness or propaganda, we, we mm -hmm. believe they're the same things. Mm -hmm. And then built on top of those are another layer of identity of corporations, of artificiality, mm -hmm. of sometimes called legal persons. Mm -hmm. Um, so the project is split into those three, mm -hmm. and I try to completely avoid the emotional and psychological aspects of identity, yeah. which have been dealt with by artists a lot already. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Would you say that you look for a gap in the legal system to be able to do this kind of work? Because obviously, uh, it's n I mean, it's not designed to be doing this. However, you do recognise how it works. My original, my original intention was to operate like that, with a mm. hacker's mentality. Mm -hmm. um, but it soon became clear that this was a, s a project of semantics. Mm -hmm. um, and so it became a search for the actual meaning mm -hmm. of identity. Um, the, the fundamental layer of, of these things. So it's not the gap. Mm -hmm. I'd say the gaps exist between the laws. Yeah. But I'm looking at the fundamental layer yeah, okay. of what it is to be a person. Yeah. Um, so fundamentally, you're allowed to make whatever you want. 
in society, but there were few laws about things you can't make. You can't make nuclear weapons, mm. but fundamentally you are free to produce anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm looking for those fundamental meanings within, within the sphere of identity. Mm -hmm. So uh, where do you want to take this project next? <coughs> What's next with this? Um, well, I'm, I'm on tour at the moment. It's a three-year tour uh, around Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, researching and teaching people through mm -hmm. workshops mm -hmm. how to make new identities. Mm -hmm. um, You'll so be giving one in July, right? Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Marseille next week to do mm -hmm. one. I was in uh, Linz last week. Mm -hmm. um, so they're, they're about once every week or mm -hmm. every two weeks. Um, so once, once I finish that tour, I'll go back to the core of the project, which is mm -hmm. a mapping mm -hmm. research project, and, s and pursue that a bit more. But I have two projects that I am um, starting. This is the, the very seed of one. Under mm -hmm. here you can see contracts yeah. whereby people have pledged their organs mm -hmm. uh, to this person, which is me. Yeah. Um, after their death, I will get their heart or lungs. Mm -hmm. um, so this will be expanded uh, into another exhibitive piece. So you'd have this documentation, mm -hmm. but there would be of some freezers here as well, so there would be some bits of bodies. Yeah. So I'm intending to build a, 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 a new physical body. After, after the idea of creating the legal identity, you want to go back to the... Yeah, well, the, the legal you'd identity. Add on, you'd work it the other way around. That's Usually right. you yeah. start with the physical body, get the legal one. Yeah. And now you're working the other way around. Yeah. So this would be complete and the other thing would complete and functional as the other side, the physical side would be complete, but completely dysfunctional. So it's almost as if the body has been shredded by the data, mm -hmm. atomized. Mm -hmm. So that's one project. The other is to, is to uh, which I might be doing with you guys, mm -hmm. is to make a robot with human rights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe take a lift or some kind mm -hmm. of uh, train, mm -hmm. something that people are dependent on mm -hmm. and trust and have some relationship with. Mm -hmm and it's fairly autonomous. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the, if it's a robot with human rights, you, it has the right to free expression and family mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. and life in general, so mm -hmm. you won't be able to turn it off, yeah, which yeah. will create some problems for the power grid. More about that in July. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, thank you.